Indie dev tip number three, prevent scope creep. Coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Roman here to talk about scope creep. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, um, I'll start by defining what scope is and then I'll go into defining what scope creep is. Um, but let's just start off by saying it's something that's detrimental to a project of any kind. It's not just limited to game development. So scope can be thought of as the extent in space. So um, you think of it as a sandbox as you are as far as concerns um, with different different parts of uh, software development or anything really. It does, it's not even really limited to software development, but scope is the things that are defined that should be uh, within the extents of what you're, what it is that you're trying to do. Um, so, for example, uh, if you're creating a, um, a, a role-playing game, an RPG, um, you wouldn't necessarily want to add uh, a first-person shooter element to that because it doesn't really make sense. It's out of scope for the type of game. So to give sort of a real world example of what scope uh, might be, uh, take for example um, a car engine, right? So if we want to speak in scope of the car engine, then the only things that are within that scope or within that extent are things that are attached to the engine itself or part of the engine itself. So that might be, you know, the, 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 the pistons, the crankshaft, um, things of that nature. Um, items that would be out of scope might be the transmission or the car's body or the tires or things like that. They're, they're not part of the game engine, so they are out of scope as far as the game. They're not part of the car engine, rather, um, so they are out of scope as far as the car's engine is concerned. Um, a transmission is not part of the car's engine. Tires are not part of the car's engine, so both those things are out of scope. So scope creep is not um, not remaining within the scope of the project. So it's it's when other things or other requirements or other features that that you want to add into the engine um, sort of come in as as uh, the cycle of of game development or or product development at, at, in general um, continues. So. Um, think of it as uh, if you're developing a game and then you're like, oh, well, this, it'd be really cool to add this feature and it'd be really cool to, to add uh, you know, a couple levels over here that implement this new feature, that's scope creep. If it wasn't in the original design of the game, that's scope creep. Um, and sometimes scope creep can be acceptable uh, if you get into game development. Sometimes, uh, if you get into the development of, of a product and you determine, hey, it feels like something is missing here, or um, maybe this um, maybe this this current UI design doesn't work. We need to add something here to spruce it up a little bit. Then sometimes scope creep is okay, but for the most part, especially when you're developing uh, any software product on your own, but especially games, you absolutely want to avoid scope creep uh, because scope creep will just exponentially increase your development time every single time you add a feature. And most of the time, those features aren't something that you need to complete the product. Um, and I'm going to talk about uh, minimum viable products later on um, in another video. But basically, the idea is that you don't want to add things to your game that it doesn't necessarily need, especially when you're trying to keep the, the scope of the game small so that you can actually develop it and test it and release it on time. So... Um, one of the one of the biggest things that you want to to um, do or or not do actually in in uh, game development is allow scope creep. So avoid scope creep at all costs. All right, so that's pretty much all I've got right now. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe, and go ahead and hit the bell on YouTube um, for more updates, uh, notifications rather um, of updates. And uh, you know, like I said, we're we're posting these videos daily, so. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.